Unfortunately, we have been accustomed or trained or accepted that we cannot solve these problems ourselves. We must go to somebody, either the priest or the psychologist or the latest guru, with all their fanciful dress and absurdities. And we, we are so trained and conditioned that we cannot dissolve our own inward struggles, problems and anxieties. That's why you are all sitting here, probably, hoping that I would help to solve your problems hoping that we'll be, have new kind of enlightenment. You know, that's one of the strange things. Enlightenment isn't, cannot be given by another. It's not a matter of time. It's not a matter of evolution, of gradual growth, moving from one step to another step, higher and higher and higher till ultimately you come to something called enlightenment. That's a good old tradition, a trap for the human mind. That which is eternal, which is nameless, is beyond time. And you cannot approach it through time, through gra- gradation, through gradual process. So we must ask, why is it that our minds and our hearts and our own brain, which is the brain of humanity, because your brain is not your brain, it's the brain that has evolved through millennia, and that brain has followed a certain path, certain roots, certain certain attitudes and so on. And as the brain is the most important factor in our life, can that brain change itself completely? That's a central question. You understand? We are thinking together, you are not listening to me. We are like two friends talking together. There is nobody else but two friends, and I hope we are like that in this gathering. You and I are sitting quietly in a comfortable chair or uncom- or in walking along the wall, in a wall and talking over this seriously. That is, can the brain, which is evolved through time, has set a pattern for itself, a movement in which it has grown gradually from the most primitive, most backward to an extraordinary brain that we have now. And that brain has lived always in this pattern. You understand, my question? Of fear, greed, violence, brutality, never s- being satisfied, pursuit of s- sex, pleasure, and you know, all the rest of it. That's our brain. Can that brain transform itself? You understand my question? Because the brain is the most important thing in our life. Brain, then the heart, physical heart, and all the nervous responses which the brain 
controls, holds and so on. Can that thing transform itself? <coughs> 